Hello and welcome to Nikolai's genetics lessons and today's problem is a distance between genes based on the recombination genetic map distance often doesn't not correspond to the distance between genes based on the length of the DNA between the genes on the chromosome. Explain why this is true. First model that we have in theory, he is one chromosome, he is another homologous chromosome. So let's say that this is going to be the same chromosome number three. And we got one chromosome from one parent, say female parent, and another from male parent. So we have two homologous chromosomes. And let's say we have here allele A, which is dominant, and here is recessive allele A. Here we have dominant allele B, and here is recessive allele B. And here we have dominant allele C, and here recessive allele C. And during meiosis, crossing over may happen between different genes and the greater distance between genes, the more chances that crossing over is going to happen between these genes. For example, if distance between gene A and B is smaller than between B and C, then we expect that crossing over here also would happen with least frequency than between gene B and C. And this is how we think that uh, crossing over frequency is directly related to the distance between the genes. But actually this is not quite so. You probably already seen pictures of the chromosome bending and using different bending techniques we can get different patterns of the chromosomes, different bands. On the tips here we will find telomeres which as caps protect each chromosomal arm from degradation during replication. And around centromere we also have regions where we won't find many genes and we call such uh, bands heterochromatin. In dark color here would be bands where we will find those genes which would be actively expressed. And these actively expressed regions would go in between regions where genes is not going to be expressed. So euchromatin regions and heterochromatin regions. So first of all, genes are not evenly spread on the chromosome. Secondly, in the regions where we have genes expressed, we have such regions which we call hotspots. And we have many such hotspots along the chromosome. And gene recombination technique only can give us rough estimation of the order of the genes, but not the distance between the genes. For example, imagine that we will have hotspot here. And crossing over in this hotspot would be tremendously bigger than in the adjustant areas. For example, here in this hotspot we may have crossing over that is going to be tenfold greater than in the adjustant region. For example, uh, let's say here. And this would give us false understanding that distance between gene A and B is greater than between gene B and C. This is not always the case because hotspots can be anywhere. So we cannot tell for sure the distance between the genes, but we can use recombination technique to tell the order of the genes on the chromosome. You may also wonder why there are so many questions on your exam where you given a table of the recombination frequencies between genes and you have to find the distance between genes if it's not always the case and we cannot uh, relate uh, recombination frequency to the distance between the genes. Such problems are given to you just for educational purposes. In many cases this rule works, but sometimes it doesn't work. More than that, when we calculate distance between genes, we calculate in with the map units, so map units or centimorgans and map units equal to centimorgans. And one map unit equals to one centimorgan 
and 1% of the recombination frequency equals to both 1 map unit and 1 centimorgan. And on the different chromosomes, let's say this is chromosome number 3, 1 map unit is not going to be the same as 1 map unit on the chromosome, say, number 7. So this is relative units and not exact units. Using this map units, we only can tell the relation between the genes and gene order on the chromosome. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.